How's it going? My name's Jack Murphy, and if you're subscribed to this channel, it's probably because you watched one of my five minute or 10 minute countdowns back in the day. Well, I've gotten a lot of comments asking if I can show the process of how I created that countdown. So that's what this video is. Hopefully by the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to make a countdown like this in Adobe After Effects. Let's get into it. All right, once you're inside of After Effects, all you're gonna wanna do is go up to Comp, New Composition, and we're gonna make one, just call it Countdown for the sake of this tutorial. The only thing you're gonna wanna change here if your dimensions are set up correctly is how long you want it to be. So I want my countdown to be five minutes today, so I'm gonna keep it right here at five. Hit OK. Now we've got our composition all set up. We're just gonna add a simple text layer. Go to text, click anywhere on your screen, and just for the sake of a placeholder, I'm just gonna type in five colon zero zero, because that's what the countdown will end up looking like. And we'll move it in the center. I might even align it so that it's exactly in the center. Perfect. This looks pretty good. But as you can see, as I scroll, it doesn't really update, just stays at five minutes. So all you have to do to update it to a countdown, click this little arrow next to your text layer, click the one next to where it says text, then when you see source text in this little stopwatch, just gonna hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard and click the stopwatch. It's gonna open up this text source text layer. This is where you're gonna paste in a code that I'm gonna put in the description box of this video that's gonna make the countdown magic work. So once you copy and paste it, boom, into this little text box and click anywhere in your screen to update it, magically, whoa, it's counting down from five minutes, pretty cool. So this code is basically just telling the text layer, hey, at this point in the video, deduct one second from the overall countdown. It's just some cool code that After Effects reads that makes our job way easier. You can even update it to be longer or shorter just by clicking the text and changing 300 to however many seconds you want the countdown to be. So 300 is five minutes, but we could change it to 600 to make it 10 minutes and boom, it automatically updates. Now, warning though, if you do this, you will have to extend the length of your composition because when we get to the end, you can see it just cuts off there. So you'll want your composition to be as long as your countdown, basically. Well, for the use of today's tutorial, we're gonna do 300 to make it five minutes. And boom, you got a working countdown inside of After Effects. You can export this and be on your way. But if you wanna make it look like those electric countdowns that I showed you in the beginning, stick around. It's just another simple trick that's super easy, but makes a really cool result. So to get this effect, all you have to do is go to Video Copilot's website. They're a plugin maker for After Effects. They make a bunch of software and they made a free plugin called Saber. Just download that. It comes in a nice tidy installation package. It was super easy. It's completely free. Once you have that downloaded and installed, come back to this video and we'll do the next step. All right, now that you have Saber installed, all you need to do, create a new layer in your composition, call it solid, name it, we'll name it Saber today. And we're just going to make sure the color is black. Perfect. Hit OK. Now our text is going to go away. So to bring it back, we're going to hit this mode button right next to Saber and change it to screen to make it transparent. Very cool. Now you go to your FX and presets and find that Saber plugin by searching Saber. It's under the video copilot folder. Drag that onto your black Saber layer and you're going to see this cool little Star Wars looking thing. Now we want the Star Wars looking thing to map to our text, not just to be a straight line. Video Copilot made it really easy to do this just by going to our effect settings of the Saber layer, going to customize core, and on core type, instead of it being Saber, just select text layer. And then for the text layer, select whatever you made your countdown, and boom, it automatically maps to your text as it goes through the composition. Very, very cool. Now this isn't really the look we're going for. It's a little blown out, hard to read, honestly. Luckily, there's a lot of customization you can do with Inside Saber. And we're just gonna start with a preset up here called Arc Reactor. Wow, look at that. All right, kind of already what we're going for. But if you don't want this white text, if you want it to just be the lightsaber look, then you can turn off the layer below just by hitting this little eye. And boom, now it's just the outline. Kind of looks, I, I think this kind of looks like the Sonic the Hedgehog movie trailer. Uh, kind of a cool look. You can do even more customization. You can change the color. You can change the intensity. There's, there's truly an unlimited amount of customization for you guys to mess with. But for now, I'm just gonna go blue and maybe I'll make it even a little more blue. Kind of like an aqua, very cool. So this is it. This is the electric countdown. It's literally that easy. 
You can extend it, make it longer or shorter. You can mess with the look of it. You can even add in backgrounds now since our Saber is a transparent layer. You can do a ton of customization with this. I'm really excited to see what you guys create. Well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today. If you have any problems with any of the steps outlined in this video, if anything weird happens with your After Effects, leave a comment down below and me or some other smart nerd will try and figure out what's going on. And if you make any countdowns using this tutorial, tag me in the videos that you upload. YouTube has a new tagging feature. So you just type in at Jack Ryan Murphy in the title or the description. It should notify me. I'd, I'd love to see what you guys create. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.